Yo, what's the deal with it, child, man? It's your boy Busy back again with another one, bro. Another vlog for y'all, man. Y'all already know what it is. But now, yo, check it out, though, bro. Hey, yo. Look, man, I ain't doing no haircut tutorial this time, bro. I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just about to, you know what I'm saying? I felt like cooking today, bro. I ain't cooked in a while. So, you know, I'm about to just show y'all what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, how I chop it up in the kitchen, man. You know, a lot of people always comment on my food and be like, yeah, this shit be real good. Yeah, your shit be ah, 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 all this. I'm like, all right. So, I just want to show y'all, you know what I'm saying, a little something, 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 you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Hey, yo, now, look, check it out, though. I'm not a chef, though. I am not a chef. I would never admit to being a chef. I would never claim to be a chef, but, you know, I do what I do a little sometimes, you know what I'm saying. But, now, nah, we, today we're going to be, uh, we're going to be chopping it up, man. Y'all going to be chopping it up with your boy Busy, man. Let's go. All right, so yo, check it, man. I'm gonna be making some garlic Parmesan chicken breasts with rice, peas, biscuits. You know what I'm saying? A nice, a nice meal. You know what I'm saying? A nice little dinner. You know what I'm saying? Something up. You know what I'm saying? Treat me nice for the night, man. You feel me? So check it out, man. First things first. You already know the vibes, man. Look, check it. You got to season the chicken, man. Look, you got to season the fuck. Breast, man. Ooh, excuse my language. We got a season of breast, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's get straight into it. All right, so I got my seasoning all mixed up, man. I know this ain't the most ideal way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody do things different. You feel me? Everybody do things different, man. You feel me? So don't judge me for how I do my shit. You feel me? Just know it's going to come out nice. You feel me? It's going to come out tasty. The seasoning is going to go on the chicken either way, you feel me? So a lot of people be like, why you always bite? Why you mix it with your finger? Oh, did you just touch the chicken? Duh. It's going on the chicken. Goofy. <laughs> All right, so check this out, man. We're going to go ahead and put this uh, seasoning. We're going to set the seasoning on the uh, chicken real quick. You know what I'm saying? Get a nice and season, bro. going to get a nice and season, man. For anyone who didn't catch what that said, my bad. That is black pepper garlic parmesan. I like to throw the whole pack on there. Get that shit nice and seasoned. Now it's time to wet it up with some grease. Let's get it. You want to make sure that it's nice and smooth so that it won't be so sticky, you know what I mean? Mm. All right, so I don't got a meat tenderizer hammer, but I decided to take it the old school way and give the breast a nice little massage. Hey, get your mind out the gutter. Hiya, 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 hiya. All right, 
Now that the breast is all tended up, it's time for the next step. But first, I need to clean my area up. Alright, so now, before I continue to this next step, what I'm gonna do is clean this area up with all-purpose cleaner with bleach so that I could get off all the germs and the nasty salmonella that could be potentially spreading across the kitchen. So while the chicken's over there soaking up all that nice seasoning, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some vegetables, man. I got green pepper, tomatoes, and onions. Alright, I'm not a chef, so don't judge me on my chopping skills, man. You know, I know it might make you chefs and good cooks out there cringe, but hey, I'm doing the best I could do. Now it's time for these dang on onions. Alright, now I know y'all probably over there talking and laughing about how I'm cutting this onion. But hey, like I said, everybody do things different. I just find it easier to do it this way instead of doing all that peeling first. This onion is literally human kryptonite right now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and peel off the rest of this onion skin and then get everything in the wash. Now, I know y'all probably saying if you would have done that the first time before you cut the onion, you wouldn't be worried about this right now. And yeah, you're right. But like I said, for some reason, I find it easier. Man, this onion is melting my eyeballs so bad right now. But that's all right. We about to keep it going. Now it's time to get these vegetables all clean and get them ready for the skillet. Alright, first order of business, we need a block of butter. Alright, while that's melting down, Time to put a little bit of olive oil in there. That's what I like to do. But I accidentally put too much in, so gotta dump a little bit out. But it's all good. All right, now it's time to slap them in the pan and get them sizzling for five to 10 minutes. Man, that smells so good right now. Oh my God. Not all people usually cut their chicken in half like this, but I usually like to do this to add more flavor and you know to get my chicken a little more juicy. And oh yeah, I did wash my gloves off thoroughly before I touched anything. I wash my gloves after I touch anything in the kitchen while I'm cooking. Don't have a heart attack. I could have just finished it like this, but I got other ideas in mind. I feel like smothering it. So now it's time to put the vegetables in. But first, we need to put a little bit more butter in the pan. I don't know about nobody else, but I usually like to cook the vegetables inside the grease that I cook the chicken in just to get that added flavor. Don't mind the mess, I do clean as I go. Don't worry. So when I'm cooking my vegetables, I usually like to add a little extra flavor. I don't know about you, but total season always tops it off for me. Now it's time to get it all nice and creamy. My only downfall with this dish is that I don't have any chicken broth or flour. So I can't get it as thick as I want it, but it's all good. We gonna compromise. Now I told y'all I don't have any chicken broth and I told y'all I had to compromise. So with that, I'm gonna use cheese. Cheese gives the gravy that extra thickness that it needs just as good as it would with flour and broth. Now you don't want to put too much, you still want it nice and creamy, not too thick. So the other pan I was using ended up being too small, but I figured it out, like I always do. Now it's time to put the rice on. So as you can see right now, I'm putting the rice in the pan. This is how I usually make my rice. I get this method from my grandmother. She used to always cook rice in a skillet and I think it always worked out good. 
I feel like it's always better to make rice in a skillet because it's more controllable and also you ain't got to worry about the rice sticking and getting all mushy. Depending on the flavor of the rice that I'm using, I usually like to use black beans and for this flavor of rice particularly, I'm going to use black beans. So now it's time to put the black beans in the rice, but there's too many beans in the strainer, so I'm gonna go ahead and use half of it. Now that the rice is done and it's looking smaculent, it's time for the next step. All right, y'all, so yo, check it, man. Look, I was gonna make some like green beans or whatever, but you know, I figured since I got black beans inside the rice already, it's like, that kind of like, all right, it's doing too much. You know, I don't need to make a big a big meal anyway. You know, I'm just making something slight, you feel me? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just slap on these biscuits, man, you feel me? These are my second favorite kind. Uh, my first is the buttermilk biscuits, the one that got like all the, they're like triple stacks. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but they like the real fat biscuits, man. Those really my favorite kind, but I had to settle for less because they ran out. So, I mean, these would just have to do. These are cool too, you feel me? So I'm gonna slap these on, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Call it a night, man. You feel me? I'm gonna show y'all the results in a minute, man. Stay tuned. Now it's time to spray the tray with pan. Slap the biscuits on it. Set the oven to 350 degrees. And let the biscuits chill in it for 10 minutes. All right, man. It's time to go ahead and snatch these biscuits out the oven. You feel me? I'm about to go ahead and see what they looking like and hitting on right now. I feel like anytime you put biscuits on, you never leave them in there for over 10 minutes because you want them nice, fluffy, and soft. Let's go, though, bro. You feel me? Hey, look, check it out, though. It's time to put that plate together. You hear me? Let's get this shit, man. Ah! Damn, boom. Just like that. All right, y'all, so, I mean, that's that. I done whipped it up, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Now it's time to dive into that thing, bro. Like, bro, like, look at this, man. Look at the succulents. Oh my goodness, bro, hold on. Ooh, hold on. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my. God, oh my God, ooh, shit. Oh my God, bro, ooh. Hold on. Mmm, immediate goodness. Immediate goodness, oh my God. Bro, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. One thing I can say is, you're missing out, dude. Straight up, man. Hey, check it out, man. It's your boy Busy, bro. Appreciate y'all for watching, bro.